Yeah. Got it. All right. All right. Yeah. We're uh, we're on. Welcome from the um the the high the high desert in the Great American Southwest. Welcome to coast to coast. To co- coast. This is coast to coast. Coast to coast to coast. Yeah. Coast to coast with Art Bell. Yeah, I saw a bunch of aliens today. At my job. Yeah. They was cleaning Great. rooms. <laughs> yeah, were they were they all like cut, were they all That's like good. cut up from the like the saw blades in the Rio Grande? Mainly from crashing all them fucking all their little spaceships and shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what I heard there's a bunch of barbed wire in the in the uh, river. Well, they got these. It's like these buoys in the in the Rio Grande. Um, that. I don't I don't know like how they work, but like in, in like the where like each buoy meets the next buoy, like in between. No way. There it looks like what <sighs> it's it's like a saw blade. And I Yo. can't but there's no real consensus on like what it is. Like some people are saying it's it's like a jigsaw trap, and then other people are saying that's just like the mechanism that connects the two buoys together. Mexican jigsaw. Mexican jigsaw. <laughs> Mexican Yixo. Yo, yo quiero play a game. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yo quiero play a game. Yo quiero play a game. It's fucking four semesters of Spanish <laughs> at UNC for nothing, dude. Oh man, dude, I had I had a Spanish exam at UNT for like my my second semester of Spanish, and the the Spanish professor for that class was like. She must have had like schizophrenia or something. She was fucking nuts, and she was just like sitting there. Like, did you, did you ever see Lord of the Rings? Like the the two towers. Not a fan. Okay, so oh, in the, boo. In the in the two towers, there's this scene where uh, they're all sleeping in this like room. Is that when and, all the hobbits are fucking each other? Yeah, like all the hobbits and Gandalf or whatever, are, like resting for the night, and then Mary gets up. And walks over to That's a uh, dude, right? Ma- yeah, Maria Doc, and he walks over to Gandalf, and Gandalf's holding the uh, guarding the Palantir. You know what the Palantir is? It's, no, it's like dude, an, I don't know what the Palantir is. It's an orb that's connected <laughs> to the. It's it's an orb that's connected to the Eye of Sauron. So Gandalf's trying to stop anyone from like looking. Oh, he doesn't know who fucking Sauron. Speaking of that, I got a nasty sty going on. Sauron is the dark. Holy the, shit! The ti- Sauron bad. is the Sauron is the titular Lord of the Rings. He's the one that created all the rings, the the nine rings of man, seven he rings. He created of the titty rings. Wait, the nine rings. What are the? I forget. Like, there's, there's a bunch of fucking rings, and then there's one. Bro, ring. let me tell you one something ring. about those movies. A little secret: they're fucking trash. No, they're good. They're good, especially Why, these- what makes them good. It's just adventure, dude. It's good but versus what evil. happens. Nothing cool happens. No, a lot of cool shit happens. Your main characters are the fucking Keebler elves. No, they're hobbits from the shop. Oh my god, they're hobbits. They're what do they in. do though? They ride on trees and shit and get in the way. No, they don't get in the way. Their their hearts are pure and they. And, and this ring, by the way, that everyone's trying to get. What the fuck does that do? Except turn you into a little psychopath. It's the ring of power. So it, what powers like, though? It gives Sauron control over like the Uruk Hai and the. That's like, not a power. power for Sauron. It is. Yeah, for, but yeah, for anyone, it corrupts anyone else. And they so, all like, want it for some fucking reason. Well, so like hobbits and dwarves and shit. I think if they get a hold of the ring, it like corrupts them. So they just become. Bro, like, Harry Potter up. had powers. Right. No. But I think I think if an elf. Got Luke the Skywalker one, had powers. I think if an elf got the one ring. It would it would actually give it like that. That's why uh, the the Liv Tyler character uh, Galadriel, I think. Uh huh. Even he... Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, those <laughs> bitches had some powers. Right. They, they so did Ga- something. Okay. Galadriel, but Frodo tries to give the ring to Galadriel, and she turns it down because she knows that she'll be too tempted by it. But the the power that it would give her, so there is like some sort of power it gives people. But I think you have to be like of strong will and mind. So that's why like Smeagol. Okay, becomes, I can take that. Yeah, that's why like when Smeagol finds the ring, he's just a hobbit. So like it just like fucks him up. Whereas like 
if any of the elves of like Rivendell were to possess it, they would actually gain some sort of power, but they would still become corrupted by it because the ring is like it's attached to Sauron. You know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the um so that I mean yeah I guess that was, and Sauron is the titular Lord of the Rings. He's the one that created it. Transformers. Um, they got powers. Right. There's you know what I'm saying? people have powers in Lord of the Rings. Gandalf's a fucking wizard. Yeah, that's true. But all he can do is make people spin. No, he has his wizard power. Gandalf and Sauron. Oh, Sauron made Gandalf spin. He spun him like top, dude. No, Sauron didn't Sauron didn't make Gandalf. It was the I forget. No, he's already a wizard. Yeah. Gandalf's Bro, I tried wi- I earnestly tried to watch those movies probably three times in my life. So anyway, so there's the scene in Two Towers. <laughs> Stop. Oh We're God. done. Where Mary Hey, I'm is... going to tell you about... All right, can I at least please chime in one for one second? Go ahead. Yeah, please. All right. I watched a great movie the other day. It was Great Balls of Fire. It was Jerry Lee Lewis's... Uh, um, what do you call it? A biopic? Yeah. I watched a movie. Have you seen... Hold on. I got this. Hold on. So, but, so you know that he like married his cousin, right? Yeah, as you should. All right. right. So, but there was like this whole time, like you watch this as movie, God intends. There was romantic scenes, and like it made you on their side of him right. cousin fucking, and eventually they have a baby, and then like nobody steps in and goes, you know, this fucking thing is gonna be, you know, there's a chance though, and if it's on the chance that it's not, it's like super genes. Dude, I watched the whole thing. Like he like and they stuck up for him getting like canceled out of England or whatever. Was he or was he not though? The kid. I don't know. You gotta know. I don't know. The movie didn't describe that. Give it oh. a bucket of water and see what he does with it. Did it's you see Ma- the movie, Dalton? No, I haven't seen it. Well hold on. So Ma- so Mary is Poppins? Mary and Doc took the Hobbit, one of the Hobbits. God damn it. He's walking. He walks by Gandalf mm. and Gandalf, like, you know, is like, oh, oh. Frodo's dick. And Gandalf's eyes are wide open. But Mary, Mary realizes that Gandalf's actually, that's just how he sleeps. So Gandalf's actually asleep. And Mary is able to, like, take the Palantir from him because, Gan- like, he's actually asleep. But it looks, you know, it looks like he's like looking right at him. So this, so anyway, that's that's kind of what the Spanish teacher was like during our exam. <laughs> I didn't realize you had a punchline for the whole fucking thing. I'm sorry. Wait, so, <laughs> is she the one that put the barbed wire in the ocean? Yeah. So she she was get she was Gandalf guarding the Palantir, and I'm just With barbed like, wire. I just have my phone out during the exam, just straight up using Google Translate for this entire Spanish test. Oh my yeah. god! Yeah, flying colors, baby. Got an A on that. Don't know any Spanish now. I wish we had smartphones when I went to school. Yeah, I'm stupid, man. How old are you? I'm t- I don't. I don't give out that information. Are you in your thirties? He's, he's thirty no. now. No, yeah, he's at least thirty. I'm not. Hey, when I was him. in school, we you couldn't just look shit up on your phone unless you paid right. like extra. I guess you could towards like my senior years. Yeah. Well, now I guess now like everybody can just use Chat GPT, gay penis mm-hmm. testicles. Chat gay penis testicles to. Mm-hmm. Is that what it stands for? Yeah, that's what the GPT stands for. Is gay penis testicles. I wonder if the robot and came up with that. Maybe. But, so smart. Yeah. How, how did you cheat in high school? We had a smart kid that would we made him help us cheat we sat in the front row we taught him fucking signals and shit and uh (sighs) we exploited the fuck out of him (laughs) you taught him signals we taught him how to signal and shit and boop on his head and stuff like like military like march orders like teacher just thought he had Tourette's (laughs) um I had a smart girlfriend in high school believe it or not that's how None (laughs) none of it worked out for me you guys you guys like I think like what did y'all drop out or something, and y'all are doing like way better than I am. So I did a couple semesters, uh, community college. I yeah, also like, did that. 
but they were just semester. remedial classes on catching up basically so i could yeah. go to college yeah college didn't like fucking do a goddamn thing for me it just made me like just made me like pretentious and feel like i accomplished something when i didn't it's like oh you know i've read books <laughs> And I'm like, I have no money. And yeah, I'm I paid. Dead. I paid for really expensive books. Yeah, like I was just like, yeah. I just walked. Where else I, do I, books cost that much? Nowhere. 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 And I, I and I don't even know where they are at this point. Like I've lost them, or like I have no fucking clue where where any of those books. I I don't know. I don't know where my TI calculator is. I I can't keep up with. <laughs> He's doing movies now. <laughs> TI. <laughs> Tip TI Harris. Yeah, he's making calculators too. Yeah. <laughs> Those are good calculators. I mean, it's a good calculator. If you got a TI eighty nine, you're, you're rock- that's a good calculator. The calculator Oops. on your on your iPhone doesn't even compare. It's the one piece of technology that Kevin. IPhone- you know where what? it's at? Boobs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got you guys are talking about boobs. Remember boobs on uh, the calculator? Oh, eight zero zero eight five. Dude, quickest way to get kicked out of class. <laughs> You just don't want to be there on a ti on a ti calculator. You just have a full keyboard, so yeah, you, you can just it. draw like GCS tits. Yeah. <laughs> draw, it's an it's a sketch too. You can yeah, homegrown titties. Yeah, you can draw a, like a girl getting like butt fucked or you know, whatever you want to do. <laughs> or, or you could just be in college and bring your laptop and just put on porn. Or you could just watch porn in class. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a good move, bro. We had a teacher that now. accidentally. Uh, I say accidentally, but some gay porn came up on a slideshow one time. He was like, <laughs> "Oh no!" You know what's crazy about college is pretty like, sure we got molested though. Like it, every university now, pretty much costs like how, this crazy amount of money, and these campuses are so nice. Like you go in these lecture halls and have this big experience or whatever for four years, and like. Unless, unless you get some sort of like computer science degree or whatever, like that guarantees you some sort of employment after college, like worthwhile, you spend like four years doing this bullshit. You donate it, and then, and then you get like a philosophy degree, and then you're looking like you're looking for jobs, and it's like, mm-hmm. oh, cool, I can get a job that pays like fifty thousand dollars. It's like a country like, club or something. Yeah, that- so you. Like by the end, by the end of it, it's it's like you you get a job out of college where everybody you work with it, like dropped out of high school, and you're like, what was the fucking, what's the point of all that? I was I was like going in all these nice buildings and trying to learn shit. It didn't fucking do anything for me. It's it, I mean maybe it's a, I mean at this point. But you graduated. Of, yeah, I got an English degree, which Jesus fucking Christ. fucking worth nothing. Yeah. Why don't you go be a, a teacher, a molder of young minds? Nah, dude, I'm the next, um, I'm a stand-up, I'm a, a modern-day philosopher. Man, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the jester in the king's court. The only one that da- da- dareth speak uh, against the king. Um, Yeah, college, uh, I mean, I don't know, like, it, it's... Who's like, the king in this? Much uh, lord? Butch Lord. <laughs> Butch Lord. Hey man. Can we do this? Hey. Can we can we talk about Butch? Man, if you Butch. give me a ride, you might be able to get a guesty. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he was a, a booker at He He was the manager for a while. Everyone has a Butch Lord in their scene, so I mean oh, he, was, yeah. he was just the butch, you know. Yeah, yeah he but... was like he was like the the manager slash booker at hyenas for a while. And um, I had heard that the reason he got that job was because he got like, like beat up at, at like one of Vinny Paul's strip clubs. Rest I guess that's peace. what happened to him. Rest yeah, so like, Vin- rest in peace to Vinny Paul. R- respect. My. Walk. Um, walk. <laughs> yeah. Respect. Walk. You talking to me? You talking, talking to me? To me. <laughs> Yeah, this is my impression of Robert De Niro uh, singing along to Pantera. You talking to me? <laughs> Are you Talk- talking to me? <laughs> Are you talking talking to me? <laughs> um, but so yeah, because Vinnie Paul like was was the co-owner of the I think the one in Fort Worth. So the story I heard was Butch got like like beat to almost to death, 
by uh, hookers by like pro- yeah i don't know like, by like, strippers <laughs> yeah the strippers beat him up Out. dude he was five foot two anybody could move his ass you little creep yeah. and so and so he had this like horrible brain injury from that it, that left yeah. him like kind of retarded he also smoked like a lot of crack and meth so and he just, didn't yeah. stop after the brain injury. It's no, not he you say loved, it like back in the day. He continued to smoke crack. Yeah, he loved crack and meth. <laughs> he loved it. He loved it. He, the only thing he loved more than crack and meth was stand up comedy. Yeah. Even then, I think he still liked crack and meth more. He still loves it. Um, is he still alive? I haven't checked in on him. Yeah, probably. People but, like uh, they don't die. Know. They don't. They don't die. They don't die. But so yeah. <laughs> so he, what is it they say in Sandlot? Uh, I don't know. Legends never die. Junkies <laughs> never die. Smoke crack. Don't smoke crack. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, and and so that's the story. It's like he got beat up, and then like like friendly obligation or whatever. I, I guess like Randy hired him to be the manager slash booker. Why don't you come out run the open but mic, Butchie? He was, you know, he he was a <laughs> he was like a brain damaged retard. Can you still see straight? Yeah, and so he ne- I don't even know if he knew where he was most of the time. And he would like constantly like double book people and just like it just was like fucking up all the time. I remember one time he went on stage at a show and like to do stand up and just like most of his act was singing the song Voodoo by Godsmack. <laughs> the whole song. <laughs> and he and he's yeah, like Yeah, he thought I think he thought that he had a real punk kind of image. Yeah, you know? he did. He did though. Yeah, and he his didn't credits think... were always, you know, VH1, MTV, and it's like, um, I don't know if for stand up if that's like. Oh, there's a lot of people that kind of try to do that punk thing, you know, punk slash stand up. Yeah, it never works out. No, no, you got to kind of got to do one thing yeah. or the other. You just you just end up li- living in a shitty apartment with like five other people and a bunch doing, of dogs. You're thir- you're 38 years old doing like poppers and whippets, talking about <laughs> talking about Marxism and polyamory and fucking. What, <laughs> I'm just trying describing- to start a fucking stream channel. I'm describing a very specific individual. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a guy, a lemonade who, boys. A guy who even when I DM'd him to tell him I liked his set, like trying to say something nice, was a complete fucking dickhead to me. Oh, yeah. So I don't feel bad about uh, who is this? Uh, Jake Flores. Oh man, are you mad at him now? I'm not mad at him. I just think he's he's just shitty. Abby Underground, Jake Flores. No, Jake was never at Abby. Jake was a he was an Austin guy who moved to New York like ten years ago. And well, I hope he sees this. Yeah, and he just like <laughs> sl- he just like slowly started burning every bridge that he had like developed over the years, and so like all. Oh these- yeah. Yeah. He's so- with like the Eve Six guys now. Yeah, so like all these people over the years, I'm that, like, them up. all these people over the years that like <laughs> tried to like bring him along on their uh, artistic journeys, as it were. Like he just ended yeah. up, he just ended up like becoming a fucking dickhead toward them, and they kind of like turned their backs on him, and they all became like extremely successful and wealthy, and he's still like. I think he's he gets paid for some like fat bitch from Los Angeles to like slap his nuts around or something, mm. something like that. Like some some sort of like co- he gets and... paid. I think so he she does... comes and slaps his nuts. I think he yeah I think he does like humiliation. He did do that. Yeah, I don't like, know if he's still like, doing. You gotta it. pay top dollar for that. Yeah, he does like these humiliation porns where it's like they like nail his nutsack to a two by four. <laughs> <laughs> Did they really do that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, don't know. I, don't know. I don't know what it was for, but somebody found those pictures and it's like they have his like ball bag stretched out and nailed it to a fucking two by four. <laughs> oh my Mama. god. Yeah. Mama respect, mia. I guess. Yeah, re- yeah, respect. Walk, you talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> oh. But uh he, but he was a guy who was like back in the day was funny. Like everyone believed in him because he he, uh, he had oh, like an, I'm trying to nail this board. 
he had like an interesting point of view and like was a like funny comedian but then just like slowly started just becoming a dickhead toward everybody and like i remember even that was the thing is like i saw him perform one night and i just reached out to him to be like hey man you know like i like your shit or whatever and he was just kind of like shitty about that you know Mm. and uh and then now he's like it's whatever he's inconsequential at this point same as me but he um yeah, he's he's just kind of this like weird fi- like internet figure who maybe gets off on just constantly humiliating himself. I, I, just I don't taking know. Hills. <laughs> yeah. Just getting his nuts fucking stapled to someone yeah, else's fucking forehead. It, it, it's like no, like almost nobody likes him. It's just, like he posts you on Twitter or X, and it's the like X. yeah, all the comments are like "fuck you, you fucking bitch, you suck." You know, you why don't you go nail your nuts to a, a piece of wood? <laughs> <laughs> it's the ultimate. I mean, you got no comeback for that. Yeah. Well, his comeback is like the same. I will. As, the same as any <laughs> of these people who are getting called out on like obvious fucking humiliating shit they've done. Where he's like, "Oh, is this like all you guys have on me?" It's just so you know, it's just so <laughs> boring. <laughs> it's just so boring at this point. No. You know? it's- it's it not. The, you nailed your nuts to. You fucking... keep referencing the time I did blackface and the time I ate my own jizz and the time I nailed my nuts to a board. It's just so boring. That's what you got. Is. Yeah, <laughs> and it's it's like, hey, buddy, you don't get to do shit like that without every single person who saw it constantly reminding you of that. Like, it's not it's not that it's boring. It's it's what you deserve because no normal human being does that. Like, mm-hmm. it's not. That's degenerate fucking behavior. Yeah, I got a DWI one time. That that never leaves, you know. No, I know. Right? The same. It's just like it's just like uh AIDS. You, mm-hmm. never, you can never so, get rid of AIDS. You can only like lower your viral load. So you good with the uh, shitting on Jake Flores for like ten minutes or so? Yeah, I don't care. That's the next podcast. Yeah, I don't give a fuck, dude. Yeah, episode two is gonna be fuck Jake Flores. Yeah, we, no, don't don't call it that. But I mean, call it, uh, yeah. call it, call it you talking to me. Hey, you yeah. talking to me? You talking to me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> call it corn huskies. Corn huskies. <laughs> That's the name of our fans. The corn. Huskies. Yeah, the corn huskies. <laughs> the corn huskies. <laughs> Come on, sign your titty. It looked yeah. like I did pretty good today, man. Yeah, people were uh, anticipating the uh, return of the king. <laughs> yeah. I saw that. So, speaking of Lord of the Rings, yeah, yeah, they were they were ready, dude. Yeah, it's fun. It's man. it's funny how like for a while everybody's been like so many people have been reaching out to me about like maybe doing something like this, and I like it's hard it's hard to like get across to people like to sort of. Um, illustrate like how fucked up i was for like just the longest time it well, was it was a disaster dude all right we'll, we'll, we'll make this brief but you weren't only fucked up like manic but like the depress the depression lasted way longer than mania that's what i'm saying like the the main like the the mania or whatever the psychosis probably like started kicking in around maybe like august or september of 2021 because i i remember having like sort of like these episodes here and there where like i would just be walking and then look up and not have no fucking clue where i was and just be completely disoriented and like gets like feel really scared like i i'm truly lost and then like and then there was like that the the time i crashed legion of skanks <laughs> like that was definitely like a manic decision um and so that that probably lasted all the way up through like february 2022 and so like when when i came out of it and like made all the phone calls to like all the people that had tried to help uh and told them hey you know my bad it wasn't it wasn't like i just snapped back it was like at that point i just i just fell into like this weird void where like i couldn't even form a thought like i couldn't I couldn't talk to anybody or like really function all that well. So that's kind of like the thesis of this show. Like the, the mission statement is 
we gotta make we gotta make money just like so I can cover like medical expenses. <laughs> like, I'm not I'm not really trying to entertain anybody. I just yeah. need to pay off. I gotta pay off like three or four different hospitals and then like all this other stuff. So yeah, join the Patreon. Yeah, join. Yeah, I got a Patreon set up and we got it. Uh, five dollars is the bronze. Ten dollars is the silver. Fifteen is the gold. If you can do the gold, if you can afford the gold. We'd really appreciate it, but if you can't do that, silver and bronze are nice. Uh, you already set this up. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm setting it up. Okay. And and sixty uh, percent of the proceeds go to the fallen police officer and D- uh, Derek Chauvin Liberation Foundation. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> 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 we're trying to free my man Chauvin. <laughs> we oh my out. god! Yeah, yeah, we're all we're all gonna buzz our hair just like him. He was just a man doing his job, you know. You can't. What happened, can't... Derek Chauvin? I'm not current. You have <laughs> three years. <laughs> there were. I'm not up to date on Sal, recent events. Sal. There were literally riots across the country. Bro, every fucking week. <laughs> every fucking week, though. Dude, they, people I, you want me to remember setting, every name? Setting entire neighborhoods on fire. <laughs> and you don't, you don't know what I'm talking about? <laughs> well, for the cop or the kid? For the I probably kid, know who the, he killed. Who did he kill? What was the name? What was the, what was the name did, of the... Literally, he does not know. Sal, what was the name of the guy that Derek Chauvin killed? Oh, 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 George Floyd. <laughs> okay, yes. Nice. You know that one. Uh, you, you thought he was Kyle Rittenhouse. Dude, it could have been a uh, <laughs> fucking cops. <laughs> Somebody did not know who Derek Chauvin is. I'm sorry I didn't watch every episode. You know, I didn't get into the characters. Like, I, <laughs> hey, guys, I don't, I don't watch every episode of the fucking news, all right? Yeah, I just like, caught up. I, you know, I was following along. I, I just finished Floyd. Suits. I'm not all right, all right. Yet. To be fair, he's The white cop, children. the Chinese cop. That's how I pretty much identified him. <laughs> yeah. He's trying to raise children, dude. Give him a break, you know. Yeah, um, yeah. He was just a man, uh, in the line of duty. So <laughs> he looks we, racist we, as fuck. We've teamed, <laughs> we've teamed up. We've teamed up with uh, Compound Media and Anthony Cumia to liberate Derek Chauvin. Yeah, all the proceeds. <laughs> yeah, he was the white yeah. one, right? Derek no, Chauvin. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. he was a white police officer who like pressed his knee on the neck of George Floyd, who I guess. I don't even know what the, like, I, I guess, like, the infraction, like, what he was getting him on was, he was, like, trying to buy, like, a like a pack of Juicy Fruit or something with a counterfeit $20 bill. Or it was, like, something weird like that. And, and then... And it was that and, like, warrants and then, uh, like... Did he strangle straight... somebody, like, an hour before? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He jumped out a window? <laughs> I think, like, well, I think the official story is he, like, Pressed a gun to a pregnant woman's belly or something, and it was uh, something like that. Like this baby owes me seventy five dollars <laughs> for the fucking Plan B that didn't work. That that's why the right got behind it because, like, dude, that's like abortion, you know? Yeah, Fuck that you know. Well, then and then everybody was saying that like, oh, well, he actually, you know, he had fentanyl in his system, so that's what killed him or whatever. Who um, doesn't? You know? No, I'm does? pretty sure it was the. It was the cop that kneed on his neck. Probably, I mean, yeah, maybe. I'm what's that sure cop's we all name? Watched him die. Sal, that what's manner. that? What's that cop's name? I couldn't even tell you. We just talked about it, dude. <laughs> Bro, I'm not. Why? Why am I gonna make him a hero? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Y'all about to fucking get his name tattooed on your butt cheeks? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. If, if we, well, yeah. Once we hit a a thousand dollars on the Patreon, I'll get Derek Chauvin's name tattooed on my butt cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first goal on the Patreon. Uh-huh. I'm gonna get a Derek Chauvin tattoo. <laughs> uh, I wonder if a tattoo artist would do that, like, if, or if that's like a not like a swastika at this point. Like, if you went in I'm there, pretty sure like, they do swastikas though. Too. I want to, I want to get Derek Chauvin in Old English tattooed on my butt cheeks. Mm-hmm. Um, so, how, so, how do you know they do swastikas? Because people have them. Yeah, yeah, but I don't think I don't think a tattoo artist at like a stu- like a actual tattoo parlor would do that. You gotta yeah, go like uh, yeah. check Sal's body. Yeah, you, you gotta, gotta go, go like, like, a, like prison. Yeah, okay. 
Yeah. The alternative tattoo shop, aka <laughs> like a no. prison. Tattoo parlors will like cover up swastikas. Like if you if you regret, like for the, free. For yeah, what like yeah. You know if you if like you decide like oh man I, I guess I'm not like racist anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Can you put like. I, I got a black. I got a black stepson. I can't be racist no more. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you go. You go to a tattoo parlor and get your like. Pee. All right. Oh, Kevin. Go ahead and pee. I'm going to tell Sal more about Lord of the Rings. So, buddy, Gan- Gandalf, also known as Mithrandir, is one. Can of I the- tell you my history with Lord of the Rings and why I initially don't like it? Go ahead. Yeah. It was my birthday, and my mom said we can go to any movie. I choose and I wanted to go see Mandy Moore and a walk to remember <laughs> and my asshole fucking brother somehow convinced me to tell my mom that I wanted to see Lord of the Rings and for what felt like eight hours I sat there watching these little elves fucking walk around and argue about this ring mm-hmm. and I kept thinking how badly I wanted to see a walk to remember what is a walk to remember? Is that like a chick flute? You don't remember a walk to remember with Mandy I, Moore? I don't remember a walk to remember. Kevin? Uh, I I know uh, that I've seen the cover of the movie because my like I have a sister that watched it, but I never watched it. No, I don't. I don't remember that movie. Did Sal watch Nothing it? About Lord of the Rings captivated me. <laughs> <laughs> a I walk like to re- what? Hold on, what? Why'd you bring I was up telling that? him how I wanted to go see Walk to Remember, and my fucking older brother was like, let's go see Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Sal, do you still smoke weed? Oh, yeah. Dude, do yourself a favor. I can't smoke weed anymore, so you have to do this for me. Get a little stone and check out an album called Lord of the Rings by Bo Hansen. Bro, you should listen to the soundtrack from a Walk to Remember. All right, Mandy I'll do Moore that. Does the soundtrack. I'll, I'll, I'll do that, and then you It's listen. incredible. You listen to Lord of the Rings by Bo Hansen. By Bo Hansen? Bo Hansen. Hansen Hansen. Ban Hansen? Bo Hansen. He was he was like an early like synth musician. And he was the earliest ever synth. Yeah, it was like it was like before there was ever any sort of like Lord of the Rings media outside of the book. So he just like read the books and sat down and was like, I'm gonna write a whole fucking album based on like what I think music for for this would sound like. And it's, dude, it was like one of my favorite things to listen to when I smoke weed. Just get fucking blazed and listen to the fucking. I've been listening to a lot of country music. Oh, yeah. Country's good. You like uh, Coulter Wall? Coulter Wall. The, I just um, listen to Richmond and Richmond. The North, the Richmond and North Richmond. Oh, That's, yeah, dude. Uh, uh, yeah. What's his name? So, so did you, did Ginger you McFuck. Ad- <laughs> did, you, did you identify with that song? Ginger Crazy Eyes. That dude's that's a insane. Good, that's a good song. It's a great song. He's got a ton of great songs. Yeah. <laughs> you well, you know, his whole catalog? Yeah, he's got another fucking one. I'm trying to remember the name. Something you know what I realized? Fucking, dude, something about Virginia. What'd yeah, you, you realize? Know, you know what I realized is like guys like that happen all the time. Like these sort of like reactionary figures pop up and like all of a sudden become like wealthy and successful and whatever. And it's like so, like, at the turn of the 20th century, like, the early 1900s, uh, there was, a lot of people were just, like, losing their asses, like, fucking losing everything, getting run out of whatever town they lived in, and so it was kind of, like, the birth of, of like, the, what came to be known as the confidence man, the con man, and it was just all these, like, different, like, snake oil salesmen and grifters and all that kind of shit popping up, and that's where you get guys like... Mighty Putty. Uh, yeah, who's that? What's his nuts? I don't know who Mighty Putty is. Mighty Putty, Flex Seal. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's not a snake. That, no, that's a quality product as seen <laughs> on TV. But um, but yeah, so it's it's like that. That was kind of like the birth of the confidence man. Like these guys who's like kind of their backs were against the wall, and they just had to like pivot to like some bullshit to try and like rally the people behind them and restore their lives. Uh, so. Like we're seeing that happen again now. Like people are getting like fucked harder than ever, and they got to find like some angle, you know, like some some sort of grift or con 
And I that's that's why I like that guy. Is like he figured out like he figured out the con, which is like write a bullshit song that doesn't necessarily align with like any political party. Yeah, but the and, the right is using it hardcore. He's he's actually went on his uh, YouTube saying please stop using my song at your fucking rallies he's like i'm singing about you specifically right <laughs> yeah but that i mean but at the, at the end of the day i don't i don't know like what his actual beliefs really are but you know it's a good con it's a good griff to like do or that you can be like jason aldean just write a fucking hick song yeah, that's it. I mean, that's what, in a small town. That's what all those, all those like reactionary guys online, like Ben Shapiro and Matt Walsh and Tim Pool and all them, they they just like completely failed at the thing they wanted to do. You know, whether it's like comedy or screenwriting or whatever, so they just pivoted to like God, what they do now. Will yeah, do, like he'll react to like movies and he'll like give his fucking two cents on like music and stuff. And I'm like, yeah. how did you cross over? And I don't give a fuck. I, I don't even a, give a fuck what, what you think politically, let alone what you think of in the Heights. You know but Yeah. I mean? But that's, that's the thing with that guy is like, he's, he, he's too like untalented to, to actually do like be a screenwriter, do the thing he wanted to do, but he's smart enough to know that he's in a position where like, if he does a 43 minute video criticizing the Barbie movie, it's it's r- so ridiculous that he's doing this that it gets everybody looking at it. So he knows like that Also he's cute as fuck. He's also yeah. very very cute. I'm he's not going to lie to you. He's a little button. He's I little... want to see the gun show. Yeah, I want to put him in my pocket. Have you ever <laughs> seen him do the gun show? No, what is that? When like... he's uh on his live, his Patreon people will He'll like flex and stuff when they oh. ask him to. Okay, yeah, I want to see that. <laughs> but yeah, but he he know he knows that like doing that or like when he did that wet ass pussy uh <laughs> critique, like he know he knows how ridiculous that is. But it gets it's engagement. So like Damn, it got too dark in here. Every everybody's everybody's talking about it. Like the people that like him support him doing that, and the people that hate him are clowning on him. And he, like quote tweeting it and saying all this crazy shit, but at the end of the day, he wins because as long as there's eyes on it, who gives a fuck mm-hmm. on that wet right. ass pussy? Yeah, so <laughs> like he knows what he's like. That's that's the whole con is just like be as ridiculous as possible and and get as many people like looking at your shit as you can. I'm gonna be uh, honest. Every time you said con today, I've thought of James Con and I got a little sad. Oh, yeah, rest in peace. Who's James Con? From who's the James Con? <laughs> that's, like that's like asking who is Derek Chauvin. I mean, the, I the know, dad yeah. from Elf. <laughs> yeah, but I'm yeah. real bad at watching movies. Buddy's from, father from Misery. Yeah, he's like a yeah master class actor. Yeah. Um, I bet y'all don't, even, y'all don't even know Terry Funk died. I knew Terry Funk died, and Bray Wyatt, that's and sad. Bob Barker, and Arlene Bob? Sorkin. Yeah, we're losing all our heroes. Arlene again. Sorkin died? Yeah. Jeez. Do you know who that is? Aaron Sorkin's wife. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you, you miss hundred percent of the shots you don't take. <laughs> no, she was on date she was on Days of Our Lives and then she, she was the voice of Harley Quinn on the uh Batman the animated series. So she like kind of created that character. Ooh. Um yeah, she died. She was sixty-seven. Um, but yeah, I mean that's that's the thing nowadays. It's like you just got to figure out like a con or a grift because there's no real jobs anymore. So you just have to figure out some way to like trick people into giving you their money. Mm-hmm. You know, nobody do does. That? I that we're doing it right now, brother. Yeah. <laughs> that's what this is. <laughs> we're trying to earn a couple bucks here. Yeah. Like I saw, I saw this like podcast clip from like one of these podcasts that may or may not exist, you know, like where where it's just something you've never seen or heard of. And it was, it was like this guy talking about how like these, there's all this research now that, uh, where did Sal go? Oh, (laughs) (laughs) um, but it was this guy talking about how like kids that are in college now like 18, 19, 20, 21 year olds, uh, 
expect upon like graduation and getting their first job out of college, they expect to make around like a hundred grand a year right out of college. And this guy on this podcast was like upset at the at this notion, like the in fucking entitlement of these college students that they think they deserve a hundred thousand dollars a year out of college. And everybody in the comments were flaming him it, about the same thing I was thinking, where it's like, you don't do anything. Like, you don't really provide any value. To, like, you do a podcast, like, one or two hours a week and make infinitely more money than these, like, college students are going to make in whatever job they decide to do. So, like, I mean, where do you get, like, where are you getting this, like, gumption to go after college kids about rightfully, want like, expecting some sort of, like, like job that equates to like the amount of time and effort and money they spent getting this degree like that that shit's crazy to me to be like no like once you graduate college you're supposed to get a job that pays like fifty thousand dollars a year and it's like but you don't have you don't have to go to college to do that so mm-hmm. no you definitely but, don't yeah but that's the thing is nobody knows what's going on anymore because there's no like actual jobs that exist now Mm-hmm. There's no, there's no. Who here has the highest salary? Let's play that game. Let's not do that. Bullshit, Kevin. Let's Even not higher. That. North or south no. of seventy? Oh my god! <laughs> Way north. Damn, big boy yeah. money. Yeah, yeah. It's my well. I, this is new money too. New money. Yeah, it's my. Uh, that southern money. I don't want to talk about it on this. Yeah, let's not do that. That's the thing. You never ask a man about his finances, politics, what, abortion. I don't know. No, you dick no. size. Do you want to do that yeah. next? Dick size. Dick size. North or south? <laughs> <of> <laughs> inches. No. I just, I just uh-huh. remember that I did. I did send Kevin a picture of my penis the other day. <laughs> I, I will. I will. I will tell my salary before I. I will. Share interest. <laughs> <laughs> I texted Kevin and I was like, "Hey man, can I show you something? It's important." And he was like, "Yeah, for sure." And then I sent him a picture of my soft penis. Were you? I was just gonna I say, were you wrecked? No, no, dude, it looked it looked fucked up. It was awful. He was trolling. He was trying to be yeah. a shithead. I didn't want to see that shit. I was pretty mad about that too. How'd it look? I think it's a crime. You could probably press charges against yeah. him if you wanted to. Or you could just press against his penis. Yeah. <laughs> Fluff up next time. Well, yeah, I, 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 well, that's the thing is like, I I had like finished beating off. And so I like it got. Soft. I don't need like, to even know this. So there's pictures of it hard for sure. Why? Mm, you just sent him the like the before and after. I just, I just like documenting my boners for, you okay. know, I don't know, like future reference. All right, that that'll be Patreon money right there. <laughs> yeah, oh, I, yeah, yeah. We should. Well, yeah, I mean, I, you're I guess a silver like, member. We'll do like a we'll do like a uh, like forty dollar tier, and I'll send you a picture of my penis. Mm. Um, if you're a <laughs> top tier Patreon member, you get a video of us all fucking. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, if when we when we hit ten thousand dollars on the Patreon, we will have gay sex with each other. Oh, easily. Yeah. I'm hoping you guys, it's before that. Yeah. What would it what would it take for you guys to, to for all of us to have sex? Literally well, fifty bucks. Yeah. <laughs> I would I'd rather I'm like, not keep, even kidding. We get human centipede. Yeah. I would pay you fifty bucks. I'd, what I'd, would the what would the lineup be? Like who who gets I'm, like I'm 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 we both fuck you. No, who's the human the, centipede. I'm the front guy, right? You're the front yeah, so who's in the middle? You. Me. And the, yeah, so and I'm behind you. So you moving forward, so or you backing up. So Sal fucks me in the ass, and then I fuck Kevin in the ass. Kevin just comes all over your carpet. And then, yeah, and then and then Kevin jerks off while we're. Oh wait, no, no, not that kind of human centipede though. Yeah, you get double go, fucked, I was thinking, I was thinking about like the. Uh, You're feeling my thrusts through him. No, I was thinking the ATM. <laughs> it's like a Newton's cradle. Mm. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> like I, we're like, at the same frequency though yeah like you you we gotta be like in line you pump into my ass and then like the physics of it 
I win the like wet. bounces I win Kevin the wet. like a like a Newton. <laughs> oh, we know it. Oh, we know it. Oh, we know it. It's the only song I played during Love Making. Fuck me in my ass. I was thinking the uh, traditional ATM human centipede. You would do ass to mouth. Right, but I'd be. But that's not. But that's not gay sex. It's just. It's, it's gay. It's gay, but it's not gay sex. It's just like you know, oral. How's that not sex? Um, it's Listen, sexual... I gotta tell you guys something. What? At eight thirty, I'm gonna be drafting in a fantasy football league, so nothing That's changes. Right. But I can do both. Don't even okay. trip on that. We're trying to figure out the the logistics what? of what happens when we hit ten thousand dollars on the Patreon and have yeah. to have gay sex with each other. So. Yeah, I think going ass to mouth is it's a sexual act, but it's not sex per per se. You know, it's it's um. Remember back when we were growing up, though, uh, oral sex was sex. I had sex orally. It's well, always if, seen o- if oral you're, if you're sex. Not, go ahead. Let's say if you're not baptized, uh, you've been out or, having oral sex with each other. I'm saying if you're not married, would you have to get baptized again if you had oral sex? Well, to, I mean, to me, like I don't know how you guys feel, but. Oral sex, like the the like a woman sucking your dick, always seemed more invasive and intimate to me than like vaginal penetration. Like, yeah, for a woman to put, a, yeah, for a woman to put her dick in her mouth, I, it, to me, I'm always like, that's fucking nuts that you're willing to do that. <laughs> no, that's literally, crazy. yeah, yeah, I, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. Not at all. Eating pussy's gay. Yeah. But we do it anyway. Yeah, it gets stuck on your beard. What if you're eating gay you pussy? Around. Though? Is that gay? Like is gay, gay pussy? Like if you're like eating yep. buck angels pussy? Just noshing on straight up fucking <laughs> lesbian twat. Like if you're going down on buck oh, angel lesbians. Buck Whoa. angel. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of fucking. Oh, dude, come on. That's so oh. gross. That is the grossest <laughs> shit. Yeah, that was uh, that was Tucker. He just awesome. got done licking his asshole clean. Probably. Dude, he beat the shit out of me last night. I, like bruised my fucking hand. Um, I got no tolerance for dogs. Really? Hate Very some. little. Interesting. I like some dogs. I don't like all dogs. Just because you like dogs, it's like people just accept any dog. Yeah. It's not like um, an automatic, you know what I mean? Right. They're shit, they're, but there are shitty dogs. Though. That's what I'm saying. If your dog won't stop jumping or he's being a dick, yeah, like I don't just sh- automatically love him. No. Did you see that 19 year old lady who fucked her dog out outside of a church? Is that the one on Twitter? That like, how old was she? 19. De- is her name available? Denise Frazier. Yeah. Frazier with a Z. Oh, she's still on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She got she got like arrested for it. I think she like filmed herself. <laughs> oh my doing god! Because it, it was yeah. near a church. I don't know, dude. But yeah, she like fucked the dog, and she's on Twitter like constantly now, being being like kept her dog. Yeah, just like talking about how much she loves her dog or whatever. Meanwhile, and, like they put the pit dog's picture in the paper. Local hero yeah. is a good boy. Yeah, I don't know, like <laughs> that's strange to me because it's it's like if you're gonna fuck a dog or any animal, just like don't you get it's it, you get away with it as long as you don't like tell anybody yeah just shut, shut the fuck up you know yeah enjoy not, yourself you know? yeah the dog's not gonna fucking blab apparently dog- that's how they got her though they bluffed she was real stupid they're like the dog told us everything she was like shit <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> <Ruh-roh>. <laughs> what Rusty? <Let me>, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Rusty. the dog's just like over there like man i love doing it normal style <laughs> yeah, dog. She fucked it, missionary. She fucked like, whoa! It. She fucked the dog, missionary, and did it like put her put her legs over its like shoulders. That's why she got arrested. Dog's yeah. legs are not supposed to do that. Yeah, yeah. He, he was pissed, dude. He's like, dude. Peta was like outraged up, by the video. Yeah, that's that's a good move, dude. Fucking a dog, missionary. I'll tell you what, though, one thing is for sure, though, that dog's a good boy. He knows it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the dog, I'm sure the dog enjoyed it. You know, well, who doesn't? Think, yeah, I who think doesn't? even the dog knew that somewhere deep down, like as a creature, he's like, this is just not 
It's not right. Um, I don't know. Nineteen year old pussy, I think is <laughs> yeah. even if you're even if you're a dog, it's like, yo, yeah. this this is nice. Yeah. This rocks, dude. <laughs> yeah, even the dog, even the dog knows, like, man. Yeah, the dog is like, yo, I've been fucking bitches that are like thirty six years old in dog years. I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> like, these I these fucking your parents bought me. Yeah, these these fucking six year old bitches. I'm trying to get some of that hot nineteen year old human pussy. Mm-hmm. Um, why are we? Wait, how do we get on this? Why are we talking about the fucking a dog? We don't ever know. A dog though, and you were only attracted to fucking people. Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> suck. <laughs> That's the ultimate song for that. Yeah. Fuck me in my ass. <laughs> oh, in boy. Oh, in boy. Oh, in boy. Oh, you put boy. that on, and if the girl stays, then you know she's down for just about anything. Yeah. What do you? What kind of music do you like to have sex to? That. What? Oh. Like scenes from an Italian restaurant. Yeah, I usually put on uh, the Billy Joel. Good fellas. Yeah. <laughs> we just fucked to that. Yeah. So there he Frank was, Sinatra. fucking his old lady. Yeah. <laughs> Ray, Lo- Ray Liotta just starts narrating it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some Ever croon- since I- what do they call it? Crooning? Crooning? Crooners? Yeah. He's a- Ever since I was a kid, I always wanted a uh, pussy. Ever since I could remember for as long as I could remember. I Always wanted to be a gangster. I wanted I wanted to fuck a woman in her pussy. <laughs> <laughs> to me, that was better than being president. It's getting pussy. Getting a little nash kabash, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sal, you're Italian, right? Don't ever turn your back on your friends. Don't ever turn your back on a pussy. Don't ever forget that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, keep your nose clean. Keep your nose in, <laughs> in some Wait, pussy. where where yeah, where are you from? You're from Buffalo? Rochester. Rochester, yeah, pretty cool. close. How'd you land in Texas? Case plane. McGow. I already know the story. <laughs> Did you say a plane? plane? <laughs> That's a good enough answer. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Why well, Texas is amazing. Texas is great. Yeah, I'll, I love it. Fucking miserable country. this year. Yeah, but it's hot as fuck. It's but amazing. It's nice, dude. <laughs> I love going to Austin and seeing the like. Seeing Joe stuff. Rogan. We'll see it going into the mothership and being told that it's already like sold out three nights in advance. And, and then, you know, you, you see, see like on stage, see like old like comedy friends working the door. Sorry, can't let you in, dude. <laughs> actually, that was that was not my experience. Liz actually told me if I'm ever in town, I can do the open mic. Okay, <laughs> who works there? Liz, I didn't know Liz and, worked there, and uh, Tony. Casillas. Oh, nice. Shout out, shout out to Tony. He's fucking. I knew Tony worked there. Yeah. Tony's a good dude. I like Tony. Real ass dude. Yeah. Tony's, yeah. Tony's a really good dude. And I'm happy for him because, like, yeah, he did the. He put, he put in. Like, that, that, that was fun to watch to see him do all the shit that, like, all the comedians who, like, thumb their noses at doing the kind of shit he was doing. Mm hmm. Like, well, you know, however he showed up taking pictures, and yeah. everyone was like, "Yeah, cool, nice pictures, man." You know, yeah, like he he had no problem like emceeing or featuring for anybody, just like schmoozing with the club, networking, all of that, and it's yeah. like that that kind of stuff. Like all these other, you know, quote unquote artists uh, always seemed to me felt like they felt like it was like beneath them or embarrassing in some way. He was always driving Butch around and shit. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm yeah. serious. Like, I mean, I, no, know, he was. I know he probably was. I mean, he was yeah. not afraid to put in the work though. Yeah. And it paid off. Like he's, actually, no, I love that guy. Like working as a comedian now, which is like, but all right. Know, all right. You know what? It would, I'd be more pissed if he wasn't like good at comedy, but he's good. Yeah. Tony's yeah, good, Tony. actually good at it. Yeah. He went to high school with my cousin. Was he good at high school? He was very good at high school. Yeah, good to know. yeah he was a marching band. That was fun to learn. Yeah, he, he probably uh, t- Tony. If you're listening, I I'm pretty sure you have sex. <laughs> At least I bet he a time fucks. or two, time or two. Yeah, a time a time or two. Had um, some pussy a time or two. Yeah, so that yeah they worked there. I think that, yeah they both worked the door there and. Um, but he, he gets gigged up over there. 
Yeah, he's doing great. Like he uh he gets spots there and like all over Austin and then he gets to do like shit on the road. So I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm sure he'll be headlining within the next like five years. Yeah. He'll probably or be sooner. Like, yeah, he'll probably, he's he's the next Barbosa. Yeah, Barbosa hey, up. Up, Yeah. Shout out to Barbosa, dude. He rocks. Uh Ralph, if you're listening to this, uh I'd like to open for you again. It's been a long time. <laughs> When did you uh, open you for Barbosa? Famous last time I opened for you, so <laughs> did you go before him at an open mic six years ago? No, we did a we did a weekend at hyenas. Oh, he okay. was middle though. Yeah, dude, oh, okay. he, dude, he fucking moved up quick. That was quick. Mm-hmm. Never that seen cra- that. That was crazy. Dude. Happy, though. Yeah, I mean, good quick for him. Spanish. Good for him showing everybody what a fucking dumb decision it is to move to New York City. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Yeah, just like I love seeing people make it from other places. Yeah, for sure. Because like, yeah, every, everybody in that in Dallas and that that whole area, a lot of people had this idea that like, if I just go to LA or New York, I can like really make it happen. And yeah, a then, bunch of people going too. You're like, man, I don't yeah. want you to move. And you're like, dude, I gotta, I gotta go one of the two. I gotta, I gotta follow my dreams. I gotta one go of the have, big two. I gotta go live with like five thirty five year olds in a fucking mm-hmm. yeah. Bush Ralph, room. Ralph just stayed there, right? Yeah, I don't did, think I did it all online. I think he still lives in Oak, like Oak Cliff, maybe. Not no, just he, DFW area. dude. The most impressive thing about him is he doesn't even really have that like a huge online presence. Like he's not on like TikTok or any of that shit. Like he doesn't do a lot of like. Yeah, he made the rounds on some pretty popular podcasts. Yeah, like he just kind of like. I think after off... that he's pretty set. Yeah, he just kind of took off naturally and n- n- doesn't do like terrible sketches or crowd work clips or anything. yeah he's not gonna like do some outlandish bit like it's usually just kind of like just that cool guy you ever see that like you'd be scrolling through like tiktok or instagram youtube shorts and like these these, these different comedians will like make a some bullshit sketch or whatever that clearly like cost a lot of money and mm-hmm. took, took a lot of time and effort and it's like one or two minutes long, and there's no- nothing about it is funny. Kevin, it's amazing that your uh, Wii remote turns into a headset. I know. <laughs> your Nintendo Switch, Joy Cons. Yeah. All right, this <laughs> I, I've already explained this. I got one coming in tomorrow. Stepson. Yep. When my stepson goes to bed at seven o'clock, it's mine for the rest of the evening. I already explained <laughs> yeah. to you guys the schedule. Um, the good headset. It is I like it. it? Yeah, it is. It is Nintendo Switch. Hey, I'll tell you this much, Sal. I also bought the fucking Wii. All right. You bought what? The Wii Switch. The Wii Switch. The Switch. Whatever. The I fuck love it is. the Wii. All I right. like Wii. Yeah, the Nintendo Switch. I bought this motherfucker. And yeah. it goes on your head. Mm-hmm. It's a. Yeah, that's why it's called a Switch. You can switch it from a controller Child to, to an it. adult. Yeah, fair enough. That's that. That's the. Uh, that's what Roman Polanski said. He's like, this, this is called the switch. It's a child <laughs> to an adult. <laughs> Isn't that Woody Allen? <laughs> oh my god! And Woody Allen. Yeah. Any of those. What about guys. Tim Allen? Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Innocent. Yeah. Is that is that is that an hour? Have we done an hour? Yeah. yeah, we've we've got an hour. Sal has a. We don't have so, a, like a. Also, we don't have like a good quality hour either. So, really? Uh, I mean, listen, like all the weird shit in between. I mean. So. Okay, that's. I think people might like it. Who gives a fuck, dude? It's a podcast. I don't like. Yeah, we're gonna be here all night trying to get it. A... <laughs> yeah, no, I well, no, I'm just, I'm just I, saying, I, like. We we stop this one and get and like get the recording for this one, and then we just start back up for the Patreon. That's usually like what you do. Mm. You got time for that, Sal? Fuck yeah! All yeah. Right. Well, we don't even have to do that. We can start back up now because uh, my wife will. Edit His wife or... knows how to uh, edit. Mm, my, so, do you guys want to like do the clap to like signal where the cut is? And if you want to, it's up to you. Or wouldn't it be easier just like to, to to like stop this one, 
Wait. And then and then hit record again. So that way it's broken up into two files. What's the best way to do it? Uh I guess I can do that. Yeah. Cause that that way it just like you don't have to like edit anything. It's just like can already. You... All right, well can you make it like swirl a little black. Like we're going yeah. into another dimension. Can you do like Brilliant. yeah, like a you know what's annoying is if I have to invite you. Can you cut it like the Sopranos where we just, you know, shoot, like it just. Shoot. You really want me to end the whole stream and like. No, again? If, it, if it ends, if it ends the stream, don't do it. Yeah, I guess, I guess like you could just edit it or something. Yeah. Uh, um. There's no there's no way to stop the recording. Like, just oh, yeah, record- I can do that. Yeah, just stop the. Uh, I but I don't know if it. Just stop the recording, okay, and then but... it'll and then it'll save the recording to your.